Hey everyone, Andrew here with Total Running Productions. Hope you're doing well. And today we're going to be talking about Courtney Frerichs. Now, Courtney Frerichs is an American distance runner, 3,000 meter steeplechaser, and also 2016 Olympian from Nixon, Missouri. And Frerichs actually attended the University of Missouri, but she later transferred to New Mexico. And while she was in New Mexico, she had great success in the 3,000 meter steeplechase in college. She won her 2016 NCAA championship by running a 924 which is actually still the NCAA championship record for the 3000 meter steeplechase. Also that same year that she won her NCAA title, she was actually a finalist for the Bowerman Award, which is an award given to the top female and male uh, track and field athlete for the year. After leaving college, Fredericks, while still improving, has constantly been in the shadow of Emma Coburn. Even in 2017, when Fredericks placed second in the world championships by running a nine minute and three second performance for the 3000 meter steeplechase, Coburn was there to win the gold medal. And while these two are definitely friends, it's obvious to me that Coburn has definitely been stealing the limelight from Frerichs as she has constantly been beating her. And this was only until July 20th of 2018 when Frerichs threw down a new American record by running a 9 flat .85 3000 meter steeplechase at the Diamond League race in Monaco. And this race was huge for her. She beat Emma Coburn, she broke the American record, and she performed extremely well against the rest of the competition, the international competition. And amazingly, in this performance, she placed second behind Beatrice Kipkowicz, who broke the world record by an astounding eight seconds. She ran an 8.44. But still, I find Frerich's performance very impressive, and I just want to kind of go through the race and evaluate how she did and congratulate her on such a great event. So the race kicked off like any Diamond League race, really. The Rabbits went out, set the pace pretty quick, and through the first kilometer, they were comfortably beneath three minutes, which is what pace you need to be to run a nine flat. Now Beatrice Kipkowicz took the lead after the Rabbit dropped, and she really threw down some fast splits. I believe through uh, 2,000 meters, which is two-thirds through the race, she was about 8.53, 8.54, uh, and Frerichs was right around that six minute barrier, which you need to be in order to break nine minutes. Now with one lap to go, Frerichs was actually already in second place. I mean, she was about a hundred meters behind the eventual winner and world record holder now, uh, Beatrice Chepkowicz. But you can see her really focusing down the back stretch with about 250 meters to go, arms pumping, super determined. She's got about five to 10 meters on um, Emma Coburn. And I am very impressed with this race. This is the second American record by a Bowerman Track Club female athlete. The last one, of course, was Shelby Houlihan, who broke the 5,000 meter American record over um, Shannon Roberry. So there's something in the water at the uh, the Bowerman Track Club. Um, and I guess I have to put in the Bowerman Babes hashtag because they're absolutely in love with that hashtag. I'm not sure if it's the French bread. Um, I know Shelby Houlihan's a huge fan of French bread. I'm not sure if it's the ice baths. I know that Frerichs has, um, there's a few pictures of her a uh, lake or two, um, sort of doing an ice bath. Um, but I mean, honestly, it's obviously not these things. It's down to the grit and determination and the training. Um, these Bowerman babes are absolutely flying this year. And I wouldn't be surprised if they set another American record. Um, uh, Frerichs just jumped on this train. Houlihan's got another 1500 meter race coming up where she very much could set another American record. And I just find it fascinating. I mean, Frerichs is right on the cusp of breaking nine minutes. And obviously no American has ever done that in history. And this performance, her nine flat, puts her sixth all time. She's in the top 10. So... She is an international powerhouse now. The only person that really seems to have an edge on her is Chepkowicz, who ran an 844, which is unbelievable. Definitely check the race out because she looked so smooth through the whole race and Frerichs obviously threw down a great time as well. Nine flat is very impressive. So congratulations to you. Nine flat is an amazing time. Uh, looking forward to your races that you have coming up and I hope 2018 moving forward is just you know a great year for you. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Andrew. Feel free to like and subscribe for more running content just like this and I'll see you in the next video.